so this is 2024 GTR the Nissan. It is it is the beast, the Goliath. <laughs> so brand brand new just dropped on Gran Turismo. And uh, yeah, we have a brand new 2024 edition car, which is always a fun thing to see. We get to see like a preview of, uh, well, not a preview, but a, a showcase of the brand newest thing in the uh, the Nissan lineup. Uh, so let's see here. We have uh, some airflow happening on the hood. We, it's it you know it is pretty much the same design. You know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Kind of design methodology going on with the GTR. Um, just more aerodynamic, a little bit more creases on the hood and such that uh, that makes airflow go through. I'd, I'd love to see like a wind tunnel on, on Gran Turismo just to see how the airflow is uh, is happening with this. But um, this is a, it's, it's kind of like cool looking paint job. If you notice, there is some purple mixed in with like a sort of a greenish blackish, but uh, um, yeah, it's that purple on the black makes a little bit of green there, but yeah, it is a. Uh, and then these are custom rims, uh, and uh, you'll notice the the braking plate and everything. I have punched this car out uh, significantly, so uh, it has a lot of get up and go, but ooh, it definitely. I have I have test drive the car. I did a a run in Watkins Glen with it, and it just it loves to take up the gas. Um, so again. Lots of curves, lots of airflow going on with this. Just make the aerodynamics flow very well with it. Um, if you have seen a GTR before, you know it's got all, you know, just like your, your very, you got to push in one side and pull out to unlock the door or open up the door and such. Um, it's very similar to a lot of the other GTR stuff. But of course, it is a brand new model, and uh, uh, from what I was seeing in the car description on this, apparently um, there was rumors going around that they weren't going to make any more GTRs, and then all of a sudden they were like, hey, "Guess what?" At the uh, at a Tokyo car show, uh, they were like, "Guess what? We have we have a new one." So we got some blinkers. Also, I almost forgot to turn on the lights because yes. Uh, GTR always has some pretty cool looking lights, the little circular lights on it. Um, again, more airflow on the bottom, so we have the whole bottom track and also off from the mufflers here. Uh, I'm thinking that might be a rear camera, possibly, or a sensor at least. And yes, this is a, it's like a special edition T-Spec GTR, so this is uh, probably one of the more expensive ones. Now, normally this would have a tail fin on it. Uh, and my other GTR has the tail fin on. Ooh, see that purple giant through. Very nice. Um, but I decided to take the tail fin off because I wanted to see how it would, if there was any difference on the driving. It still drives like a GTR. It's still, it's still, um, you know, definitely uh, the hugging of the corners a little, a little bit off. But there's so much horsepower. Just a thousand horsepower in this. So it is. It is a. It's a pretty big beast of a car. Um, again, as you can see, as we do a float over of the top of this thing, it is just made for aerodynamics and airflow. So let's go inside. All right. So we are inside the GTR, and hopefully we got. Uh, let me see if I can maybe get some better lighting, just to be able to light everything up. I can actually flip between the lights down there so you can actually see it's got the uh, you know the, the, the normal works that anything has you have a very cool little display right there again pretty standard normal it has a CD player in it interesting um, it's a menu display the maps audio TV hmm. um, yeah yeah again it's it's a GTR fully spec'd out uh, and also definitely fully spec'd out because I have actually put a, a bunch of parts into this Ah, there we go. Now we can really see something. Um, so all your controls on the, uh, not the dashboard, on the uh, the steering wheel. And the dashboard over there, kind of, no, okay, it is 3D. So it is definitely not digital, you know, display or anything. It's, you know, you, you are, this thing is, it's built for the road. It's not built, it's built for the track and the road, but it is more or less, you know, a very fancy, fancy road car. Uh, 
So let's see what else we got here. Uh, the push start engine. Um, for all you old school guys, there's no cigarette lighter. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't look like it, there is anyways. You have launch controls and uh, is there? A, no, there's not four wheel drive. I don't, I don't think. Um, what else we got here? T spec. So carbon fiber on the inside, along with some uh, leather seating. And uh, let's see if we can get check out the the back. Oh, Bose speakers. They actually got the the logo in the in the simulation here. Very cool. Um, so some bucket seats in the back. Uh, I'm not noticing where. Oh, sorry, I hit the uh, the light. Uh, oh, there it is. Yes. Um, so just your regular. It's not like a you know anything special with the you know it's not like a racing harness in this or anything. Um, let me flip that back over to the other lane. I like that other lane because it looked really cool in the background. Also, there we go. Um, so yeah, yeah, we are. Just checking out the GTR. There's some stitching up there also. Very nice. Um, again, it is a like you know the special edition deluxe car. Uh, it, Two hundred thousand was was in game price for it. And let's uh, let's take this out on the track. See what it can do. All right, here we go. Racing part of the video once again. A brand new GTR. And we are going to see how this car handles in the virtual space here. Going against some Ferraris. I can barely hear myself. The engine is so loud I can barely hear myself. That's McLaren. Alright, so they are putting me in here with like top tier exotic rides. Uh, it's probably because I had this thing punched out so much where I got a thousand horsepower almost 800 performance point it's gripping the road rather well I do have racing soft tires again I, this is fully decked out with all the parts that's the one thing I've been definitely noticing the car does not like to handle the corners as well Probably because there is so much horsepower in it. I'm just, I just start fishtailing a little bit in, in tire corners. So we just have to feather the gas a little bit more. Ooh, this is all uphill. All right, so I have infinite fuel on this race, so I don't have to worry, worry about that so much. Uh, but I will say, if you're running on a race with a lot of fuel management, be very careful on this car because it, it, it loves to it loves to suck down fuel. All right. That was straight away. I mean, I got acceleration. Superb amount of acceleration. Because there is so much horsepower. It's the brakes, like, again, just trying to get this thing to slow down once it gets going. So basically what I need to do is power out of the corner. Don't, don't power midway, but power out. Man, even uphill this thing is just is getting up and going which is good now I just need to get it to slow down <laughs> but this car it just wants to run it just wants to get up and go again just kind of taming the beast with the GTR on this one again even uphill this is
for 200,000 straight up in just the regular in the regular um, auto brand central car collection definitely it's it is for sure holding its own this is with me just putting the pedal down and then we got I have to I have to slow down well well before the corner because of the fact that it is sliding off the track a bit Again, with, with 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 the plane pressure on the brakes, it almost feels like it, um, because this is a simulation, so it, it almost feels like there's just no weight in the back. So I'm getting a little bit of fishtailing with all the horsepower happening. See, as soon as I push it, and then we get a tight corner, it's all over. So I got to be kind of careful coming into this corner. Again, it's just getting feeling the it's it's getting the feeling the balance of the car of how how far through the corner can I can I start to really give it some go. I, I'm like I'm dancing on on the on the gas pedal just to make sure I don't don't go too far out on the corner and then also on the straightaway I should be oh damn oh man I wanted one more lap <laughs> fourth place that's fine top five finish. Um, again, just getting the feel of the car, especially when you're in VR, it's a little bit of a different feel than when you're on the controller. Um, especially with the steering wheel pedals and everything, I was definitely feeling the weight adjustments and everything in the car. But yeah, the brand new GTR, super cool, go check it out.